Whoa! This is The Illusion, reporting from somewhere on Spaceship Earth. I'm with Kale Zilla. Kale Zilla. In Beverly Hills. We're friends. We are friends. We man. are old friends. We are old friends. So, uh, I mean, I'll kick this off. Kale here is getting his YouTube channel going. Yes, I am. So I came into the city today and we figured, we were talking about how we were going to get YouTube, get YouTube advice and we decided that we probably should just make a whole video because people want to figure out how to start their channel. Yeah. And Kale's just getting his started. That's right. And I dumb lucked into kind of getting a, you know, cult following out there on YouTube, which I well, I've been I've been watching you for like freaking how long? It, how long you been on there? Four years. Four years. Four man. years. Yeah, and we've known each other probably five or six. Five and a half. Five. Yeah, and uh, when he started it, and and by the way, if we're looking up and down, you're gonna look maybe at yours. I'm like, we have both of our cams right now. Fil filming so we're each recording on yeah. our, our thing so for his channel and my channel yeah. we're gonna have yeah. this uh, the same video Sh going should, should we just cut it up and one on yours and one well, on mine? that well that's that's the thing for me my whole thing is i run no edits yeah i do i'm into the the, the following the thing you can edit i've tried the edit yeah thing i when yeah. i did like i interviewed this famous skater tori pudwell right right like they had me down to interview him. It was like a big deal. I went and edited it with like the question. I printed it out and had like a little screenshot. Yeah. And then he answered the question. The best, and I tried to get it into like a sh shorter time frame. The best stuff I have with Tori Pudwell never made it on to YouTube because I was judging it. I'm like, oh, people would want to know about this. And then I did my next big interview with with this skater Richie Jackson where I just held the camera right. and we talked for an hour and a half. Let it rip. Man. Let it rip. Yeah. And within that, people, people I found out wanted to know not about skateboarding but who these dudes were yeah. without skateboarding. It's the candid uh, version. Yeah. Is always yeah. Best. yeah. And, and, you know, that's one of the, on that note, it's kind of one of the reasons that I jumped and felt finally by pride of uh, a friend Trish um, to jump into the YouTube world was because, you know, Instagram, pictures, you can filter it, you can like, you know, everybody, you can hide behind mm -hmm. just whatever and, and it's not all you. And if you got the balls or the guts enough to want to jump into video and be in raw, I got to move this over because you're kind of out of frame there on I'm mine. Out of frame? Yeah, but but if you've got the guts, you want to jump. You're out, of, you're out of frame on mine. Yeah. There yeah. we go. How's that? But the point is, it's just <laughs> literally... It's literally like this right here. It's it's not perfect. It's not supposed and to nobody be. nobody is. Well, that's how we, we were. Know? I was talking to, we were starting to talk about it. And I was like, I, I think from my perspective of it all is people who watch YouTube don't want polished. They want to check out someone's life, the zits, the whole yeah. thing at all, and watch people it's overcome kind of themselves. The, 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 almost the car you know, crash of the train wreck, but not, you know what I mean? It skids off a little bit. Okay. It's real. You know what I mean? It's not this. Well, it's, it's everyone CG. like reality shows are a big deal. Now, yeah. Right. But everyone realizes now that they're scripted. Yeah. So you where do you, it. where do you find, where do you find? Yeah. Where do you find? Yeah. I mean, yeah there we go. <laughs> All right, yeah. But uh, can I put my feet up on your coffee table? Dude. It, you I, know, yeah, Mikasa, I know. Okay. You know that. So, but no, so I found it's that, just that so I think that there's a part of the thing that, that people have found YouTube to be something they can, Relate people to. can make their own video just like we're doing yeah. now and not come through some studio system. Cause we live in, in LA, right? Like I grew up with people that are producers and actors and Kale's worked in the industry and the industry is what the movie industry, TV industry is called the industry. Yeah. So he's worked in it too. And you know that there's a whole circle jerk going on. Yeah. Like the best, the best material is left on the cutting room floors. Generally. So. And edited it out. Yeah. Why, do, why does, why is that? Why does, why does uh, Blade Runner have to have the uh, deluxe director's cut to get the two missing scenes. Yeah. They left those on the floor. It's it's generally uh, some of those extra bits that that they, I think at the time, that they're, it's about trying to make it perfect, you know? 
and whatever is maybe easy or, or safe. You know what I mean? Well, that, I, safe. Well, I think and, that's what people are looking for on YouTube is that it's not life isn't perfect. Yeah. So they can't relate. You're watching, you're watching some sitcom, right? Some movie. Uh huh. You're like, I'm fully removed from that. I'm a, I'm just some dude sitting or person sitting on my couch watching a show. Mm -hmm. Like with the YouTube, the thing, it's like, wait a minute. I can do this if I so choose, and it's not right. that far removed from me because these, they, yeah, these guys are living in, they're in Beverly Hills and Malibu and stuff, but they're just like me. We're just like you. And and when yes. I watch YouTube, like, uh, like, like, I, my big, like, there's this kid I watch, Tommy Talks, mm -hmm. right? Tommy, Tommy Talks. Anyway, Tommy Talks is out in Tommy. New Tommy! Out look in at the, look at the, uh, is this, uh, we're going to have to just at, yeah, least, well, at least speak to this. Well, we'll get to this that. This is we the spiritual warrior here behind us over, over top. It's a, kind of the <laughs> personification of what the bond underneath. We're, we're, I'm, I'm going to get to that. All yeah, right, all right. All but, right. But, but hey, be, like on my format, I only ask one question what over an interview. What my is one it? standard question. By the way, this guy, and I'm telling you, you everybody that watches on my channel, you got to go check him out, The Illusion. And uh, he's reached some... some some success in the YouTube world, and we well, uh, can talk about that. You can yeah. ask, cause and I think it's freaking, it's just killer. It's rad how that all came about out of not necessarily trying. You know what I mean? Or there's, there's. I mean, you sure you're trying every day. There was a fucking well, new no, video. But when I, but when I first, when I first did it, yeah. I had no idea what YouTube was. Yeah, I literally. Nor is who I right now. No, but uh, like I didn't. I didn't even have a laptop. I got a laptop one day. Yeah. I made. I saw. I made a video just from the laptop to make it, and yeah. it said, "Do you want to upload to YouTube?" Yeah. And I went. Did you cringe a little bit? Were you I, like, I just didn't know. I had no idea what YouTube was. You have yeah. to understand. I hadn't had a computer in my life right. for at least five or six years. That's so, real. Yeah, because I'm a, I'm an off the grid kind of guy, and, yeah. and so when I sent it to YouTube, I I literally just pushed the button, mm -hmm. and and it said, "Do you want to link it to Facebook?" And I had a Facebook going, right? And I've been using someone else's computer for like six months. I'd had a Facebook going. Yeah, yeah. And and it went through this whole thing, and I just kept making videos to entertain myself mm -hmm. and uploading them. And at some point. It, it clipped through the the high school. I started making, I was making my own vlogs and I kind of interviewed some of my friends and I would just make dumb, dumb videos. Well, the, what are the, one of the things uh, early on that happened, and we, I saw him, he was vlogging and I'm like rooting, yeah, 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 yeah. And me and some buds were like, yeah, trying to give him some some subject matter to kind of like yes. you know, the next you know vlog or video to talk about. And And back in the day, we still are marginally, you know. I'm I'm pretty much. Uh, uh, He's a truther. A truther. I'm a I truther. I seek truth. Nothing but truth. I don't care what party label. All that stuff to me is just crap. It's it's part of the system that I don't belong to anymore. Um, so that for that matter, on the, back in the day on his vlogs, we um, were trying to think up certain things, and there's one video with a towel. Taliban. Oh, the sober Taliban. The sober Taliban, and he, he literally it was something uh, to do with like the Taliban over you know the enemy that we fight in the wars or whatever. But but you put on a towel around your head and uh, well, no, guys, it was it, that that was the whole. And he put, he uploaded, it and I was like like he texted me, and I'm like no way. I was like yeah, because it was the straight calling the systems nonsense. It was yeah. all about like the insurrection against negative thinking. Sure. Well, that was the you know that's the as a YouTube person who's gained a following, like there's a responsibility. Where are you going? We when we used to talk to about as truthers talking about. I, I'll bump into it every now and then on my channel, like mm -hmm. talking about the truther issues, if you will, what what the nine elevens and the the conspiracies and the, the what the government's doing and stuff. And, and you were kind of like angling me for, and I was like, I can't promote it, yeah, because my people are already awake to a lot of it, and the ones that aren't, they're not. 
ready. Like, so I, I like, it's a fine line because they yeah, got all sorts of, I, dude, I bumped into all sorts of crazy, cra I just decided to go run for city council instead. No kidding. <laughs> the one that was against the system, he jumped in and started running for city council in Malibu, you know, and you came close. Well, I did and, it twice. Right. I did it again, too. You shook up the system. You pissed some oh, people I, off. I, I pissed some people pissed, off. Pissed I people blew off. some. I blew some minds. Like, yeah. but what was real interesting is I achieved that thing. Went through. I got can unique candidate 2012 on mm. Comedy Central. Right. I made it onto the bar stool. The uh, bar stool website which is the big one and it's a sports one in boston well the coolest thing and probably people out there let me shock it to the bar stool the yeah well i'm not familiar with that it's a big it's a big like vlog is it? and that they have like a fourth split probably screen just outed myself but well, but that's the thing there's so much on the internet yeah. you can't possibly keep track of it yeah well, see, he, 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 um, uh, what was, uh, really the cool one is that he, uh, got asked by, to come on Tosh. I got, I'm a, I'm a celebrity. A celebrity. A celebrity. A celebrity. celebrity. That's the term. Tommy Talks got on Tosh. Some call him celebutards. Well, <laughs> you know? of course. But, you know, because there's a certain, there's a certain level of people out there, and, and I'm not gonna say who, or it's, it's a purely subjective, but, we're all like in this together and there's no specialness, you know, what you do versus what I do. Well, I know? think there's the and ones that take themselves too seriously. There you go. Like, That's like the I knew, part. I knew coming That's into the, the thing, I, I know who I am. Yeah. I know that I fit a certain stereotype, a certain demographic, and that a long time ago in my life, I don't have to, to defend the spicoliness mm -hmm. of my reality yeah it's 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 part of the deal so if if i were to get super bummed about people's takes on it yeah i would have i would have dug my i never would have pulled it off it would have lasted the fact is 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 i i realize i'm a parody of myself right so whatever i'm putting out is sort of tongue-in-cheek but underneath it all is a super serious message about like how do we get through the daily struggle of life and not slash our wrist or chop someone's head off, man. <laughs> like it's a daily struggle, dude. It's uh, and you know, it's pretty much seeing if you can go through uh, the day with more smiles and frowns. You know, well, that's, that, you know, it, uh, that's that's the ticket. You know, well, the, trying we, to have fun. Well, we talked like that's the thing that came that 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 it developed for me was the uh, the fans. They started. They 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 elevated Listen. my thing. Like it became a symbiotic that's, relationship. That's what is already started happening on mine. I, I'm I'm kind of blown away by just the sheer nature of the people's responses already with mine. I've got like four or five, three, four blogs up, and they're already giving me these you know attaboys and encouragements and words of like you know like it something is happening and uh and I'm like I I can kind of get I'm getting a glimpse of what you've been talking about. You well, know the, the mean? weird thing though is is but doing a, a thousand a, a hundred nice comments can be eclipsed by one troll. Like but so there's the a learning curve on how to deal with the trolls, man. Like for example, I put up my art video the other day. Yeah. The first comment was like, your art sucks. <laughs> no one's going to buy any of it. Your stuff sucks. <laughs> and I read and it. That and was I'm like, like, that was you talking to yourself. I know this is four years later. And I still was like, oh, yeah, that hurts. The other 25 comments were, dude, I dig your stuff. How do I get a piece? Yeah. But, but, but that the, one... But, but it's the you. thing, it's, it's not louder. as, no, but it, I, I had to learn early on, like early on, like when I, my thing first kind of blew up after the, the skateboard, the Thrasher magazine review. Yeah. Cause that's what blew up first. The bowl cut thing came in later, but yeah, I did the got, bowl cut before. So he's got the Tao a band or a band or whatever. And then, but his, the biggest video that blew up was, uh, the bowl cut. The bowl cut. And he literally, there's a bowl, he's got his hair. And he's got it, and he cuts it like a bowl, you know. It's on. It's on my page. But the weird thing was is, and that drew Tosh to to you, right? That's how I got on Tosh. Tosh well, that's the up. one that that blew up. But what was weird about it was it was a sleeper. I do <laughs> I do the bull cut maintenance video, yeah. right? And and whatever, and all of a sudden I do the I 
I'm a skateboarder, right? I'm big in the skateboarding kind of community. So I did a, uh, I read Thrasher Skateboarding Magazine and just made comments about the magazine I was looking at with the camera showing the, the ah. magazine, right? Well, that blew up in the skateboarding world, right? And the skateboarding world sort of adopted me as the illusion, as the skate older skater guy who still had the passion type of thing. It it's what it was the first spark of my right. whole thing. The bowl cut maintenance video comes in after I'd blown up with the skateboarding thing, and that's the one that sparked. So you just I don't know how it works. Well, isn't that what you just said? The sleeper, the sleeper video. This is like I think and how it caught traction. That video and then your brand or your YouTube and this thing is kind of indicative. It's pretty much how I think both of us uh, have later in life woken up and, and, Ooh, yeah. and, and into a newer consciousness of where it's like the sleeper. It's kind of like finally kind of like catching wind here and um, at least in that terms um, that's kind of what I think some of what the connectivity here between you and I is that you kind of had your thing, you know, you were in your world, um, and I was in mine and they were probably vastly different on some respects, but you know, very similar in the destructive parts, you know what I mean? Some, the negative well, parts. Well, I then, mean, that's the, I mean, like, just to, br like, we burned down our lives. Yeah. Right? We've been given a second chance of second life. Second chance. And here you are. What, well, what's a second chance of life? Like, you can just stuff your pockets. Mm -hmm. Or you can, can realize you can stuff your soul. Mm -hmm. Right? And so, how, like, how do you stuff your soul? It's like overcoming, like, daily, the daily obstacles and finding joy yeah. in what would Clean you pass by? Bit. Give me, give my right. guys a little bit yeah. of, uh, yeah. You know, some of you, but uh, yeah, it's too, too casual for kale, right? No, but you're like, <laughs> <laughs> it's like almost you're like this little head over there, you know. Well, but now I'm, but the, big, in, in now speaking, I'm the big head, I know, but but you know, this profound, you know, uh, well, I mean, that's the that's the that's the rub, right? Like. That's what I was saying is like one minute I push a button on a computer and mm -hmm. it starts this domino effect in my life yeah we're like i can't turn it off right like there's been many a day that i've been like where i go back to being asleep where i'm like i need to turn this all off this is too much yeah and it, it won't allow me because i have a responsibility to my people now mm -hmm. it's as ridiculous as that sounds is like i have People that are like, dude, they want to, like, they're hanging on. We're all doing this together now. Mm -hmm. Before it was just one dude. And now I've got people that are like, dude, like, we're watching. Yeah. Like, I'm having a kid, like, on YouTube for all intents and purposes. Basically watching you grow up. Yeah, they you watched know? me start out in a, in a trailer with one electrical cord. Yeah, that was funny. And now I live with the, my beautiful girlfriend. I'm having a baby. I got a stepdaughter. Congratulations. Dude, like, things are happening. When's, yeah. when's the baby? Uh, Summer solstice. Out? Summer solstice. How, how cosmic is the that? The little sprout is going to... Baby owl. Wow. Yeah. Baby owl's coming on, on June 21st. That's crazy. Man. That's crazy. Well, you know, I think what we, uh, we've got here is uh, two versions of the fact that you can do anything you want to out there and and ma matter of fact um just if you have an inkling of something you want to do go for it with the, I mean? there's the weird thing go though right like we had to learn you have to learn the thing like part of waking up is is you're given the keys to the kingdom right yeah so but like you're still part of your how you're still half asleep Mm -hmm. So you think that you want dumb, dumb things in the beginning, like, oh, <laughs> I, like now that I've woken up, I, I would like a, a really shiny, fast car. Well, okay, sure, the, the genie will give you anything when you rub it, but you got to be really careful what you ask for. You want a shiny, fast car? Well, that thing can just plow you into the, the freeway abutment, too. If, do you really want a shiny, fast car? Do you want the maintenance overhead? Like most people think they want a really nice car. I Until they got to go to the mechanic and they get a giant 
Bill. Find a good mechanic, people. <laughs> yeah, dude, that you gotta have a good mechanic in you the know? arsenal. But like, there's a certain. I think there's a certain thing of like, for me, like, what I wanted when I first was a, awoken to the potential of reality is not what I want today. A, awake to the reality of reality of mm -hmm. like, I, I just want like happiness and serenity and peace. I'm not so concerned about like shiny stuff or this or that. That all seems to take care of itself. That is, uh, sounds great. It can, you know, it sounds great, right? We but don't want to drive a fast car. Who doesn't? You know what I mean? Like, oh, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude. Who but, doesn't? But like, let's be real. You know what I mean? And, uh, but you're, what the intellectualizing, you know, thing is here is is just a matter of keeping it in perspective, you know, and keeping it in perspective about it's not going to define me or you or or shouldn't. Well, you I know? mean, right? And like, if it's stripped away, then we're not devastated. Well, we and were our talking world is about hard. that. You when you yeah. were when you were working in the in the movie industry with a baller on a big production, yeah. right? Yeah, you're like, oh, dude, it's all gonna it's all gonna happen here. Yeah, man. like. Like all this, all this bros. stuff, right? And then you realize, well, wait a minute, what, what? That can't get me happiness. No, like, nothing can get us happiness outside of us, right? Right. So what? So but most people build a fortress of stuff. Yeah. To it's still a, to block out the internal mechanism. Throw up smells just the same in a Rolls Royce. It does, you know what I mean? It doesn't. It? Yeah, yeah. If you're still, I don't throw up. Anymore. You don't throw up. I mean, but yeah, but I'm the point is, anyway. this guy kind of um, and maybe. Your followers um, are are very familiar with this kind of conversation and talk. I think mine are are could be who knows, uh, but they they do know my my Instagram is uh, it's either juicing, uh, it's either about positive uh, slogans, a little bit of me. It's mind, body, kale, you know, and kalezilla kind of is this you know, uh, better version, if you will, all the above of, of something. That, well, let's, you know, let's I break that be down and, and uh, for my people is yeah. like, you how, what's your, how do you, how explain how you got here? To what we're doing? Well, you know, I'm, I was always kind of, uh, partially, uh, I guess dialed into social media and then, you know, the media, uh, Facebook and and then Instagram came around and I started doing that and I I dig Instagram because it's like to me it's like visual it's pictures I'm a painter you know whatever I dig like you know composition you know what mm -hmm. I mean needless to say fast forward um, and I do a variety of things and one of uh, a friend of mine Trisha Paytas she's like this huge you know social media person break uh, break friend. that off like give people my people have probably have no idea she's she's is. um she's amazing she's a uh like a sister she's been like uh truly um um uh, another a, a great addition in my life in a lot of respects i've learned a lot from her um is you know you're not exactly like me nah. no am i like you but because of that i we can learn well, but she's got, but she's got a huge following. Huge following. She's like, a and I've million. watched a couple of her videos, yeah. and there she's on the doing what we're doing in her own weird way, is trying to elevate the yeah. frequency yeah. of our fellow beings. She's to got like uh, break free of the bondage. I think she's got like three hundred fifty thousand on Instagram. Number, I'm about to break twenty here one of these days. Yeah, I'm close. I'm, no, like I'm talking about on Instagram on YouTube. She's got like a million or two. That's huge. You know, I, so she's like, she's like up there, but. But the the point is back to like we've crossed paths on a variety of things. We're doing some music um, together. I'm, I'm basically helping, assisting, producing her music with her, and and um, and anyway, she kept prodding me and pushing me to jump in and do the YouTube thing. And and I'm like I've been in film. I've been you know done some this, that, and the other. I dig it. I love it. And I was um, just curious about again like. Uh, what, what harm? You know what? Could, what bad thing could come about it? And and so I just decided to flick it on. You know, and um, and again back to being real. You know what I mean? Back to like like just laying it all out there and showing your cards. 
And I think in, in some respects also it started to give me underneath like it was a certain catharticness that was happening about like just kind of like just divulging who you are in these moments. You know what I mean? Dude, they're my, they're my, uh, they're my therapy session. Yeah. My people basically, whether they know it or not, are my like therapist. Cause uh, like I've had moments like, especially since I moved up to where I don't have a Wi-Fi signal anymore. I used to be a day, post one up daily about yeah. what was going on. Now it's, it's more sporadic. Right. And I find that like when I get really jammed up, flick the camera on. It's flick the camera on, but because uh, but I'm a firm believer of of when you make a video, you gotta upload it because the, the edit the the mind will edit the mind will tell you I love that yeah. that it's that don't put this up it's gonna piss someone off it's gonna bum someone out but the truth is if you're sticking to your truth that it is just what it is and the hot the some of the bat my best moments in YouTube are when I've totally blown it. Totally blown it. See, I, I, I'm a firm believer of, of, of you, you're supposed to blow it and make and put your foot in your mouth, say the wrong thing, and then come back and go, look, man, this is what it is to be a human evolving mm -hmm. spiritually and consciously of like, wow, I, I totally hit the wrong nail on the head. I totally, I've reevaluated my opinion about what I just said the last video. So, and, and what's weird is, the commenting and the fan base will kind of guide you sure. through it to the point that you find resolution and then you move on. Well, it's like, uh, it's like last... a three video window. Yeah. When well, you fuck up. Yeah. Well, I, um, I was telling you about it on the way up here, uh, about this video that I threw up last night. It was my first solo video. Mm. And, um, and I, and I've got a couple that I've just flicked on, you know, uh, in my car, you know, film, I haven't thrown up because I just didn't feel like either ready or they weren't worthy enough. And, uh, but needless to say, it's kind of practicing too, you know, whatever. The point is I'm turned the camera on last night and I pull up and I was telling him is I, I come up to the stoplight and, um, there's a homeless person and, you know, everybody, the greatest guy I could beat me or whatever. And I decided to leave the camera r rolling and give him a couple bucks. And I look back down and my phone is ringing. It literally, jam you know, cut off my recorder recording. And I was like, kind of pissed. It was a, it was a moment I was like, damn. And, uh, but then the guy that was calling was like our spiritual guru. Yes. And, and, and immediately. Uh, we have the same spiritual advisor, by the way. <laughs> but Yeah. And and that's kind of the the connectivity there, uh, but but the bigger the broader one. Uh, but the thing is, it was like as I put in that video, I had to, I turned the camera out after I hung up the phone with him and c took my takeaway on that was the fact that you you know I was trying to give the get. Well, I, I, I have a, I have a rule of thumb, man. Is if you're not willing to point the camera publicly in somewhat like. Eh, there's something weird about it. If you got to do the... This guy, though, he was like... I mean, telling you, like, dressed like us. He, he didn't look like... He but what I'm saying is, 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 is if you're willing to hold the camera and do your bit, blah, blah, blah on YouTube, da, 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 with your camera going, it's fair game. That one where, like, the, it's sitting back here and we're having an interaction with an unsuspecting citizen. I, I, I think that you get, you're get you getting into a weird space with it. Just my opinion on it. Plenty of people do the full voyeuristic. It just happened like that. And to, it, like the window went down, I'd give it, and then it was gone. Yeah, I think you got to give people a fair fair shot. to Because well, like, but, but I'll do a lot of on the street videoing myself where I'll hold the camera and people will be walking around in the background. And... and they can see plainly what's going on. But the but the 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 nutshell of it all was the fact that God I, interrupted you. And and I got to see that I wasn't as good as I thought I was. That was the cool part about it. I like got right size. Well we gotta take chances. I mean You know what I mean? There's you know, that's the weird thing. It's like it, like <laughs> for example Oh, you turned yourself off, dude. I don't know. Maybe it just stopped. No. Anyway. Man, you hit the button, dude.
No, it's just... I'll, I'll give you my copy if there's yeah. a big, huge block in it because we're going 29. Essentially, this is like we're doing a podcast. That's exactly right. I did one with Trisha the other night, and it's the best shit ever. Okay, I swear so to God. they'll go back to Dude. my... Uh, can, oh, you don't have enough memory. Yeah, that's why. So. Oh. Dude, I was part of my, that's what I, You got to go 64, bro. That's why I said... How much What do you got on that? I don't know. Maybe... Who cares? It no, sucks. No, no, but that's the is thing. Is, is, is when I, my smartest move I made when I got the iPhone was they were like, I go, give me that. I didn't know memory. that I was going to be fucking... I ran film. out once... But I ran out once because there's some weird times when you don't know and you got to let it roll. And you, what are you going to do with all your old footage? You got to keep that too. Yeah. And then go back later. Like, yeah. like I'm good to go. We could probably record well, I can, for like uh, What I'll hours. do is I'll just upload that on my channel, um, that half bit, and then and I'll put another. I'll be a bit teaser. And, and the, yeah. <laughs> the teaser. The teaser. But, yeah. Yeah, right? But I, I basically, Trisha and I were doing this. We did a, uh, I just set it up just like this the other night. And started rolling. And one of the things I was just, was right when I turned it on, was that it was going to say that i6 sucks. Apple had like literally got oh, us no, on the treadmill, dude, of like buying their shit and updating and freaking. Yeah, but like, I did. Just I, enough to where it like, my i5 was like tanking, dude. I had to like whip it into T-Mobile and, and or that was a Verizon guy. And anyway, to buy their i6 because the i5 had just like literally was crashing. I don't know, man. I did the, the four, I did the four for a long time, and the only reason I went to a six is I dropped my job site radio on it. And Dude. like, and I went in there like, here's the. I was just gonna get another one. I, I don't. I don't see my. my I bet it was limping. As like a dude who's thing. gone full circle with the conspiracy and the truth and the whole thing. Full circle. I don't care anymore. Hey. I'm I'm down with you on the fact that I'm not like got to put a tin foil hat on. Oh yeah, you okay? should, dude. You, the yeah. microwaves, <laughs> the, like really, really. The irony is the tin foil hat is going to turn out to be the answer to all the being the bombarded by the waves. Well, I, see, I won't have a Wi-Fi signal on my house I anymore. I agree no, no way. that fluoride should not be in the toothpaste. There's no good it shouldn't reason. Be in anything. Yeah, yeah, exactly. There's no reason. I even asked this with a, a civil engineer. He was like, he was. I said, what kind of engineer? He was like, I, I do with like water and sewer treatment, you know? And I'm like, let me ask you a question. Is there any reason at all, at all, that fluoride should be in our water? He's like, none. Yeah, there's a big reason none. is like, that it's getting rid of toxic waste, dude. And they're having <laughs> us pay for it. Exactly. Well, anyway, the point is, there's no good reason. Well, you know our, this, but maybe our viewers don't. So, you know, you know but, who perfected the use of, of, of fluoride in the drinking water was, was Stalin. And Hitler picked that up from Stalin. Well, and they used to give it to the concentration camp people. See, and then you go, dude, that's the dark <laughs> bunny hole. We don't, we don't, we don't want to go down the dark bunny hole. We can bunny. go! No, but it's it's pointless because the people that know that are like, duh. And the people that don't are like, did he just say concentration camp? Ah, oh, geez, that's some dark energy. I can't handle yeah, that. I'm yeah, just trying to I'm get... Just, I'm just trying to figure out who the guy on the wall back there is. Yeah, exactly. So, I but, get but some I food never... for the kids and put it on the table and I'm done. Non-GMI. Entertain me. Don't oh, terrorize dude. me. You know what I mean? Well, but there's a... You know, entertainment is terror, man. The, you know, what's the scariest, is, what's the scariest <laughs> movie ever made? Uh, Exorcist. Nah. Threads. Threads? I go watch. Know. No, I, I saw a thing. This dude was talking in about your this. your perspective. In your like, No, no. This dude was talking about scarce movie ever made. And he's like, dude, Threads. And I was like, Threads? He's like, yeah, it's the British uh, apocalyptic movie they did in the 80s about like what happened if the, the bombs were dropped. Yeah. And I went and watched it. And I was like, oh, that's a horror flick. Because it's real. Not that it's real. But yeah. it's what could happen like... like the Exorcist, eh, you know, I it's, get it. I get what you're pointing. You're like a real, like whoa, like whoa, and it, but it's the way it's filmed. It's all grainy yeah. and, and it's, cheesy. It's and like, like cheesy and grainy and real, like this. Yeah. It's pretty scary. <laughs> That's it, man. Hey, you know what they say? The revolution will not be televised. So it's going to be all grainy and cheesy because you're going to be scared. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> like I don't get that whole people watching scary stuff thing. But anyway, back to my question. Well, oh, no, because I got the one question I haven't gotten to yet in 34 minutes deep, dude. And this is the one. 34 minutes. Are you guys still here? What do you think about the aliens? The aliens? Yeah. I've got, I've got a, uh, well, I think that 
they're demons. Demons mm-hmm. are aliens, and aliens are demons. I think they're one in the pretty, same. Yeah, yeah. I've got a screenplay. I'm trying to like, hopefully one day get up uh, to the top uh, my my uh, to do list and to uh, try to forge that together. I think that, but back to like really, I don't know. You know what I mean? Who the freak knows? I do think that there are extraterrestrials of some kind. Mm. Whether yeah. it is this, you know, Martian like. You know, extra correct terrestrials that we've seen kind of photographs, hodgepodge from like Area 51, and they're like the big eyes and all that. We kind of got a very good idea. I don't know. I'm not that tinfoily. But I, <laughs> <laughs> I do think that there that's is a, something. That's aluminum wrap, by the way. Right? That's aluminum wrap. You know what I'm saying? We know it. We dialed in. But, it's, but, it, but there's definitely some crazy shit happening. You know what I mean? On a wide scale. And it's deep, happening. Deep, deep. You know what I mean? Crazy. I, and I, like, what about chemtrails? Oh, well, that's, it's, <laughs> you know what I mean? Public record, dude. They're drunk, dumping stuff out of there. Here's the thing, though. The aluminum Amish. and barium Here's the thing, now. though. The illusion. Here's the thing. If they're dropping, which I'm not a, saying that they're not, because it's clear something's littering the sky. You know what I mean? There's some trails. Yeah, but it's like public congressional records. That's what they're doing. Exactly. But, are they doing it on a mass level uh, to dumb us down? And if so, how could how would they be? Why would they be doing that if the politicians and those that probably are involved underneath that same cloud? Well, they, I mean, it's that's kind of, that's where you go to the dark you know money what I mean? hole, like like where most people tune out. How the, nefarious, if, the cons- if the conspiracy is true, what is the end game with the conspiracy? And 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 I fully am fully aware of it because it's gone on for history. It's total mass genocide on a global level. My thing is level, this, dude, and I like, think you're kind of on the same wavelength. It's that's like you dark. only. I kind of only get involved into the to the degree of which that it's like you know we can make a difference. Or so you know what I mean. And it's, it's cool to co- have conversations about it, or whatever. I occasionally, but I can't save the world one post at a time. You know, but I mean? that, but that's where, but the, I think that's, that's the me. weird thing. It's like when you get down to like, what is, what is the thing is to figure out what you're most afraid of, right? What's 1984? The guy's most afraid of the rat in the face thing and the whole thing. And it gets him. It tricks him to think that he'll, he'll say that two plus two equals five because the rat's in his face, chewing on his face, right? That's 1984, right? And it happened. Yeah, yeah. So, but I think that the thing to overcome is to figure out what you're most afraid of so that when the whammy moment of life comes. Answering this question. <laughs> no, but it, it's, it's like, right? Like everybody in life has the one thing that will cause them. The boogeyman. The boogeyman. Yeah. Till you know what your boogeyman is, you can't know what you would do. I'm my own boogeyman. It's like you can't you're, practice your response. Like I. We're like, our own worst enemy. We're our own yeah. boogeyman. We all know that, but yeah, but, but it's, we personify so, it in something else. So, but when the dark when the dark moment arises, yeah, and you don't know what your boogeyman is, and it does the snap on you, yeah, then you do all sorts of dumb, dumb thing. Then you will push your fellow man off the cliff. Then you will do all sorts of weird stuff. But if you know what your thing is, like, oh, okay. So my thing is like, yeah, dude, I'm, I don't really want to get shoved into a concentration camp. Like, <laughs> that's like my big life that I'm afraid of, dude. FEMA. Yeah, yeah. So, in order to... We, do- used, to, we used to talk about... We're oh, be- <laughs> God. We, we could get real, we could we used go to real be deep like, on this stuff. You know, man. I don't know. If people are just... All you got to do... If you want to... Like, what we're talking about is like, if it's crazy, all I got to say is, I hear you. Just go... It is crazy. Type in... Building seven in the store. I know, building seven, <laughs> dude. Like most people don't know. They don't know about it. That's the springboard. But, but too. they just That'll crack, up, crack open yeah, your yeah, whole. But awakening. people don't, but you can't. The thing is, just right. Like it's that thing. But of we're like, not, a, I'm not a Russell Brand. And that's but not it's my not thing our to deal, n- dude. Tear down every the, headline that's coming down. But no, but it's it's. But, but my whole thing is, if once you go full circle with the darkness, yeah, you don't need to exist in the darkness because now you can put it actually into a been small here box. Since day one, yeah, but you can put it into like the small box and go. Okay, that's what I'm tripped out as the darkness. Let me get back to what the light's all about. Yeah, the light. Okay, I know what my darkness is. There Let's you go. Let's get back to the light. So the, the illusion, Kelzilla. So the we're light. Getting, so getting back to the light, man. My world changed once I got my stepdaughter. I have a nine-year-old stepdaughter due to my 
my girl, she came with the nine-year-old stepdaughter. Huge, We're dude. having a baby together. You know how huge that is? That's so gutsy. I can't even still fathom having like a kid right now. You know dude, what I mean? But the, because it's like, I'm still the kid. But I ha I'm like having my own baby, right? Like that one's even different because that's coming through the yeah, process. That was like... You no, know, when the nine-year-old showed yours. up in my life and looked at me and we had... I realized that we had made a spiritual deal on the astral plane a long time ago. And I was looking at this kid and I'm like, oh my <laughs> goodness, like this is way beyond my control. And I got, I'm rolling with this nine-year-old kid. Suddenly it put all that stuff into, no, into more focus uh. of like, oh, what is the answer to the light? It's to educate this kid. It's not to plug the kid into the television. In fact, I had to convince them to turn off the television. Like once we turned off the television in our house, everything changed. No, everything changed. Because suddenly there wasn't a kid in front of a television. There was a kid rolling with me and her mom. We roll as a squad. We don't plug into the TV and do downtime. You don't We're, watch The Simpsons or anything? No, nah, we don't have a television. Do the hottest is curb your enthusiasm. No, is my no, the favorite. hot. I, I, there's some good stuff out there. That the hottest is we've been living together about six weeks, and all of a sudden, the hologram comes out. She hears a bunch of noise, and it's he refers to well your viewers and anyway. It's from the toss point oh. Toss point oh is goes is there a Mrs. Illusion? I go if there was, she'd be known as the hologram. <laughs> so when I finally met Mrs. Illusion, she was she's the she hologram. became the hologram. She so that's beautiful. And, and so uh, she's, she's in the room and I'm out there with my, my screw gun taking apart the television. Right. And she comes out, well, what are you doing? I go, dude, we're not having television in our house. And she's like, whoa, like what about the movies? I go, no, dude, no, there's no reason. Their life's too short for us to be watching TV and stuff. Like I get it. Movies are kind of cool, but it's the Pandora's box. Like we got a kid that's dying to be loved. Right. Aren't we all? Yeah, and, and, That's I, it. and I've learned that from my own life. There's that this, is the quintessential thing in life. It's so what, the, what once, but we, we, we had to, to do the, the we had to do the learning curve as a yeah. as a mixed family. Like, but it was a giant leap. Like the kid, I watched it. She did not know how to live without being able to plug into a television every now and then. She wasn't a full avid TV watcher. Who does? But it was a downtime <laughs> issue. Yeah. Like when she needed downtime, it was a distraction issue. So we what? took the, what, what was the answer to no television? We're going to hang out together. Yeah. Well, when we hung out together, she, that's all she wanted in her life because her dad had kind of shined her. Uh -huh. So now she, instead of there being a TV taking up her time, there's me and her mom. Like, well, let's do art a together. A real person. Yeah, let's, let's person. talk. Yeah. And this kid's smart. The minigram, she's so, super smart. So I talked to her about all this stuff. Like, I'm not, I'm, because she's not, she came into my life, I don't view her as a child. I view her as a little adult. Right. So I, like, I, I, like my tax bill came in. I started talking to her about what taxes are, what this is. Yeah, she glosses over 70% of it. But as a nine-year-old kid, she's probably more aware about what the IRS is about than your average nine-year-old kid. And That's she cool. loves it. Dude, I had this big talk to her about what it is to be an American and the Constitution and the Bill of Rights the other day. Dude, she was captivated. She kept asking more questions. I was reading the stuff to her. I was reading the Constitution to her. Yeah, does she cont contextually totally get it? Nah. But as a nine-year-old kid who trusts her, this adult that she picked to be in her life, she's listening and trying to hear it and trying to feel it and be like, this is important to this, this man in my life. Mm. He, he super cares about it. He's shown me that there's life without television. So what is, what is this thing he's talking about? I want to know because he's the dude who turned off the television in my life. It's a huge thing. It's radical, it's man. It is radical. And, and the most think, radical thing ever. Here, here's, you know, just as our senses uh, are, con we're conditioned as uh, little kids or whatever. And uh, with the TV and our, our, our sensory, you know, um, just in terms of uh, how, what is basically what we need to like see and hear uh, in that staticness or whatever. Same as though it's just like a, uh, with food, 
You know what I mean? Oh, and food is like, you know, it's our palates and what we're conditioned, you know, our taste buds. And so, you know, if our attention spans and our taste buds and, and all these... All right, you got to keep, you got to keep talking. Uh -huh. I got to go to the bathroom. Okay. And it's all, talk, talk it's all about, about it's all about the senses and our taste buds, um, uh, our, our, our senses of everything is primed and conditioned, I think, um, a little jaded and a little upside down where... We're just like with too much TV, too much GMOs, too much artificial preservatives, all this stuff. This has just been kind of like given to us or shoved down our throat, um, and and it and it feels good, it tastes good, it looks good. Um, and hey, I'm guilty as the next person, but I think what it is um, when when he was talking about changing that, flipping that paradigm for his uh, his stepdaughter. It's radical, and it's radical. Just like if, if uh, the first time that I tasted uh, wheatgrass, I did a wheatgrass shot. I used to have this thing called the wheatgrass effect, and yeah. and um, it's basically wheatgrass, pure and simple, just can taste like shit. You know what I mean? Tastes like grass. But the first time it was, it was this rancid, and now mm -hmm. I'm like literally when I taste it, when I drink it, I feel like I know what's happening. It's it's regenerating. It's like literally recharging and re just basically making me younger. It's like the Benjamin Button lifestyle, man. I want to do everything, and 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 nowadays it's all about like flipping the old and turning on the new. Yeah. Well, you know that's funny. So I know juicing's your thing, right? Yeah. So all right, the hologram. She's super health conscious and yeah. like work out and watches what she eats and stuff, right? So she follows a bunch of. Juicing. Had these yoga juicing healthy people, what they've done, and and I we we read them and we make fun of them because they take their stuff so seriously, they're doing a disservice to the people that would probably want to do their thing because they're they're promoting it as as their life is perfect. No, and and and, and 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 like there's these ones we watch. I won't name them because I don't want to throw them under the bus, but. There's these people and their LA things as, as when you get to really look at them with that eye, you realize that they're just attached to the material thing and the juicing and the healthy food and stuff is it ends to the means to attack, keep their form going in Los Angeles, which is the most vain city in the world. There's a lot of truth on that level. And uh, uh, I'm, I'm probably partially guilty in some of those things. The thing no, that me too, man. I think that you know, you know this. It's experiential, experiential having experiences of where you know you you change your life and and something good happens, and then that that experience yeah. you were like, oh my god, and that awareness you're like, I think I want some more of that, and so but you only know what you know, right? And until you, that awareness or experience happens, you're on this side of ignorance, or I, it's not in terms of like you're not you know smart. But it's on this side of having that experience, and so you kind of like don't understand it, or I didn't when I when I started. There was a girl that suggested probiotics mm -hmm. to me like three years ago when I came back from this movie, and I was like a little overweight, and I was a little. And needless to say, long story short, I I had been suggested that before in juicing, but now at that point, now I was uh, back, and I was felt feeling lethargic. I was just like emotionally. Just downtrodden, yeah. and the, I needed to clean out the system. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And I literally went and dove into juicing, and all of a sudden, um, I started just purifying my system. And literally, the aware like I had like this further like expanded like awakening, and 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 I could only describe it as like that. And you can't like it's hard to articulate until that happens and just like a spiritual you are what you eat, right right well, so that's kind of an, and i've uh, experienced that the, yeah. holo the hologram brought that to the table <laughs> yeah. like no one until i met her man i was a a frozen pizza oreo cookies not food guy I, food. now grant i have if you still check my i mean like i just put a piece of but it, it was a vegan slice of chocolate cake on my fucking well, it, it, page it, it today. It became the thing as... as so I'm as, not I, like no, but some it, fanatic. No, but it, that's what I mean is it... it Balance. Like, she like, she like, she helped me realize, like for example, yeah. like, I'm not a big one to remember to eat. I'll go, I, I can go all day and not eat because I don't believe in food. Yeah. I'm real weird about it, right? 
But she knows. There's something to no, that. No, she, she's the one who's figured out. She's like, dude, when you're cranky, have you eaten? Right. Yeah. No. And she'll just feed me. Hungry, right? Angry, I've lonely, given, tired, no, baby. I've given her the food department. I go hologram. She packs me lunches. She makes sure I got snacks, but they're all healthy. She she got me eating an apple. This every is day. what happens when you when you uh, just evolve. She took to where she took. He's a got lot a of mate. Gl- he's got a nice, lovely the hologram. She cooks. loves me, man. She takes she care compliments of me. you and she gives you that stuff. Well, me, she got the gluten out of my diet. I'm uh, just me and myself. Uh, but when you <laughs> but that's the thing. It's. Dude, the, the hottest. No, I ran into one I'm of my buddies. sufficient. No, I ran into one of my buddies up surfing. He's like, I told him I was having a kid. He's like, dude, that's crazy, dude. Three years ago, you were making videos about how you were lonely and couldn't get laid and stuff. And I go, once I, it's truly once I allowed the right person dude, to enter my life. Man. I, I, I know totally, her for a long time. I'm too. deliberately single. You know what I mean? Hey, but, me too for a long time. Man. And uh, being being single and not necessarily just screwing that's around. a vacuum they're doing some construction I think they're picking door. that up yeah, yeah it's, it's just, a construction going on outside you, it's, you give them the uh the, the caveat in yeah, case anyway. it's bugging you it's not you know? us dude it's 50 in you are you kidding me we're gonna like that doesn't matter man blow up the youtube server <laughs> no dude, all my interviews run long really so so, so all right just to get to what's behind us yeah, we better probably this, get this, to a crazy. All right, this is the this is the the hottest. He's the world's biggest Van Halen fan. Yeah, yeah. Explain, right. explain that. Okay, you're yeah. gonna let you just teed it up. Right? Yeah. Is that, <laughs> yeah, that's your department, that's, bro. That's no. it. Just, that's David Lee Roth, dude. Well, that's um actually uh, from an album, uh, 1985, called "Eat 'Em and Smile," and uh, it was right when. Van Halen and David Lee Roth, they they split, right? And uh, and that was um, it was an album. It's his album cover, and um, he had his warrior paint, whatever. And uh, but I I broke back up, opened the paints about f- four months ago, and I decided like, what am I gonna paint, you know? And um, that kind of was one of the things. That it was like uh, that's your first one back, kind of yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah, oh, awesome, man. The first one back to kind of you know get the freaking pipes. Stick with what you know, man. And uh, my problem is, and I know you've got some, you cranked out some artwork. You crank it out. My thing is, and and I stopped painting for the longest time because I'm a perfectionist. And I I like, when you ever stop, you know, when is it ever done? And so, you know, and you can't like enjoy it almost, you know. Well, that's what's weird is, 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 is I do it strictly for the, uh, the, 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 uh, the break in life, like I get real quiet. I make just circles a lot and just, and, and, and the thing is, is it became my med. I used to be a writer. I stopped writing. I started doing my art, right? I started doing the thing, Yeah. but it's coming from source, right? It's my way to tap into source. Yeah. Cause I'm not, I'm not good at meditating to really slow it down, but I can sit there with a Sharpie pen and do this for hours and not think about anything else. Dude, they had uh, on the um, the House of Cards the other night, one of my favorite shows right now. But they, uh, it's Kevin Spacey, and they and in the White House, and it's all about you know just the politics of how destructive it is and conniving and and evil and but it's great. But mm-hmm. Anyway, but in the in the uh, White House, they had these four monks, and they were sitting there doing this, and they were like basically spreading in this powder. Oh, like, when they make the the yeah, uh, what is it? It's not a mandala. It's it's, it's like it's a month long. Have process. you seen the thing? Yeah, well, they they, and they it's no, just, they tap the thing. Yeah, it's, just, it's, it's, just, it's the craziest thing ever. Yeah, man. so and then so, they blow it away when they're done. I know. It's just like <laughs> it's like takes a month to t- uh, to do, and it's so ornate, it's so freaking, it's badass. But all of a sudden, uh, well, they, that, that that for me, that's my thing. And it's almost like I got when they excuse me, but they, it's like when they just blow it away, it's like they're not attached to it. It's like it's over. The journey is done. Well, no, that's what I was going to say. When I finish my thing, yeah, uh, it goes into a plastic bag and it gets slid under the couch with all the other ones. <laughs> it's the it's like I don't look at them ever again. Yeah, I put them on the thing, and but the weirdest thing is, you know, yeah, everyone's doing the art thing and this and that. Like, dude, I actually I this week I sold ten pieces. I sell them at for, at the most affordable cost because my people, I want them to have it. Like. Like I tell the story of this art, my friend, she's a big deal. Right. Right. She, she's a 
friend of mine and stuff. So she brought over this woman who yeah. is like the curator of the biggest art gallery in LA, whatever. Right. She walks with her. She brought her over to my house, right? She breaks out. She shows, she says, show her your art. So I start showing her my art and she's like, what's your medium? Yeah. I go, cardboard and Sharpies. And she, <laughs> and she does the, whoa, because it's so dumb, dumb, simple. And I've mastered to make the Sharpie one continuous thing. Well, like those who don't, it's all lines and stuff. Yeah, yeah, you can yeah. see the pen strokes. I figured out how to make them solid and I break it them looks, up right. Yeah. You know what I mean? So she's, it's she's still cardboard. Yeah. It's cardboard on sharp, Sharpie on cardboard. So she's intrigued. She's looking at my stuff. She's intrigued. Yeah. And then she, she's like, how do you sell them? And I go, yeah, I, I sell them. She's like, she's like, how do you sell them? And I go on YouTube. On YouTube. She's like, what do you mean? I go, well, I, I take pictures of them and I, and I just put the price and the dimensions and the name. Yeah. And I leave an email with my PayPal account at the end of the video. Yeah. And people buy them. Wow. And she's like, unprecedented. Like, like <laughs> what's, unprecedented. Going, what's going on here? That doesn't make sense in the system. Yeah, know? yeah, yeah. So now, but now I know. I got her. Right. She's intrigued. She's wondering what's going on here because she's like spelling out. And I go and I'm looking at her because I know the next question that's coming. It's the only question that can come next. And, I, and I'm waiting for the tell. She's like, so how much do you sell them for? And I know if I go $10,000, my work's going in her gallery. No problem. Yeah. But I got to stay true to who I am. Yeah. I go, I sell them between 150 and 300 bucks and she's good. She doesn't, she has the slightest wrinkle in the corner of her mouth. She just like flinches. No, like but the lights went off and she's like, let's go. Uh, it's time to go for a walk. Yeah. But it was the thing where I knew that, that what I'm doing with my art to my fan base who wants it to hang it on their wall is the right approach. I don't want to sell my art for money. I want to, I want people to want it. I, I you know what I mean? Yeah. It's, it's a cool thing. So when it goes into the bag, right? I think they're picking up on that. It's, 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 it's my meditative process kind of a moment in time caught. Well, whatever, you know, I've seen that uh, if somebody sees a piece and it resonates to them, you know, so be it. If you want a David Lee Roth original, it's right here. So back to the Van Halen. There's got to be, there's got to so be for, a so break shitload down. of uh, followers that love Van Halen. There's skate, I, I've skateboarders, only, uh, uh, surfers. I want to get... It's the quintessential, like, surfing Because I always parties, wanted California to know who is a, who's a Van Halen fan. I found one. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, so. But you're, you're like a crackhead with Van Halen. I, I was uh, early growing on, and they were kind of like uh, uh, the group when MTV came out, and it was. Uh, you're a kid. Yeah, yeah, and and uh, David Lee Roth and the whole band and the party freaking persona. I latched onto that, you know. Oh, I mean? the party, good time. Yeah, the Spicoli. That was the. Okay, it's your Pure Spicoli. Okay. That's my Spicoli. All right, I got and it. And that's what I kind of like, more or less, just uh, constructed in Van Halen was like a soundtrack to my life uh, all the way up till today, you know? But the point is. Were you listening to Van Halen in the car today? Um, I think some kind of like uh, probably uh, dribbled out, you know, either on the, one of these devices around here. But yeah, it's like. Um, but here's the thing I'm, I, I love all music. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. One of the one of the things that only recently, like uh, that, I've really kind of figured out why I like Van Halen so much, or or a lot of that kind of music. It's kind of it's below the below the neck. It's not so cerebral. Yeah, yeah. You follow I, I, me? It's good time music. Yeah, it's, it's like good Boston, time music. Man. And so, but I can get into the Radiohead or the Pearl Jam and the more cerebral, like you know, yeah, kind yeah. of yeah, you know what I mean, like that kind of and and go there. Or you can kind of just want to like cut loose, put the top down and freaking like, you know, let it rip. You know what I mean? And not have to really over, you know, because I'm a pretty analytical dude, a thinker. And you know, I think you yeah, are. Yeah, okay, too. I got you. It's an escape valve. Yeah, exactly. I got you. And I kind of got that later on. But um, as I was kind of uh, escaping, you know, it was always a, it was a great escape. I got you. That yeah. makes total sense. Man. Yeah, yeah. So, you know. That's the Van Halen thing. I, I actually, with Trisha, she just did a Hot for Teacher um, video um, that I helped her do, and and it's something that's gonna just blow. Don't say it, blow everybody out of the water. 
some uh, out of the water blowing. Yeah, you gotta you gotta check so, this. So out. subscribe to his channel. There's gonna be some out of the water blood. And even like I got a lot of fish fans that watch my channel, Deadheads, and that kind of yeah. Stuff. Dude, I have a, such a there, you, like listen. What when are you gonna throw this up? We're doing it right after we turn it off. <laughs> Dude, I'm telling you, you guys, where am I looking right here? I'm still new at this. I think it's over here, right? You guys got to like check this out. Subscribe to me. Then I want you to check out, subscribe to like Trish and check this video out that's coming we'll up. We'll put next some week. links down below. Yeah, hot for teacher. And uh the there's an album coming up. You know, maybe not you're like, you know, kind of uh the other songs, but hot for teacher and what's attached to that. It's gonna blow your mind. It's gonna blow your uh, mind. Oh, it's your te teaser. Yeah. And pointing. Yeah. And pointing. So. Well, okay, but on the thing is like just on the the with the back to the YouTube thing, right? I've had moments. Go for it. No, I, like I made it to, just advice. I made it the most benign two minute video about getting a fish ticket in the mail. Right. People send me stuff all the time, dude. That is my one day largest video ever was the fish video and it's about nothing it's about i broke a surfboard my car broke down and something else went wrong but i got a fish ticket in the mail dude that went viral in the in the fish blogosphere yeah right and i never saw it coming i didn't make it for any other purpose but i picked up all the fish fans because i'm a fish fan right yeah i had another video that was me railing on a city council member about going and visiting china talk about conspiracy and truthing and stuff. I was like, you're not going to China for our city. Like, nah. So I, I recorded my public comment. Right. But as I was going to the thing, because I re do my thing, I was like, I'm going down to city council because they're not visiting China on my watch. Right. Yeah. So I give a little one minute intro. I put the three minute public comment on the thing. I mash it together. I upload it. It gets picked up by my friend Morning Maya, who is part of the whole truther community and stuff. She sends it out. She's like, hey, can I, uh, I forget when they copy your video. She's like, can I copy your video? Yeah. I'm like, absolutely. She put it out. I got a wave of, of the truther people started watching my channel. A lot of them were like, you're not gnarly enough, but I have ones that <laughs> stuck around because the truth is a different truth. But along my way, I've picked up all these diverse groups because I never pigeonholed myself. Yeah. At the core of what the illusion is, is the skateboarding dude trying to get through life and stay positive. But along the way, I take lefts and rights into other facets of You're my sitting life. sitting here. I'm sitting here, man. This is... With my friend, dude. My friend asked me, how do we get going? We were going to come have a, a rap session. It's a video. Yeah. Cause, it's a video. Because that's the thing is it's all about cross-pollinating and, and, and it's not about... the. The end doesn't justify the means. It's all about right now. Yeah, I like I like uh, the mere fact of just just uh, button up with something maybe similar to you, but but certainly different. And that way, you know, you can cross pollinate, pollinate. You can learn from each other. You can like freaking you know um, just grow, dude. That's the freaking thing. I'm all about learning and growing and and change my world. Left hand turns, man. Curveballs, whatever. You know, I want to go freaking skate. Uh, again, he's a huge skater. I know you guys know that, but my guys probably are... Good, good uh, Kale back on the skate. Yeah, I was a big skater growing up, man. Great big skater. Oh, dude. And, uh, I know you're like freaking like the daredevil on the freaking nah, thing. I'm just a dude that rolls. But, um, you know, and uh, so so those are the kind of things like I want to do. I want to live, man. Well, that, Killzilla. But that's the interesting thing, right? Like here it is. Once again, a moment recorded in YouTube time. Who knows where it's going to go? Who knows what people you're bringing into my world, what people I'm bringing into your world. Like, I'm down to interview. Shake it up. I want to interview Trisha, man, because I think she's a really interesting person that my people, because she's so different, but the message is so on a different vibe of the, uh, a different side of the same rainbow. Yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? And I think my people need to hear her voice. Yeah. Because, and... I'll put that out to her. I'll put yeah, it yeah, out to man. Her. Because she's she's like literally she she's a, I mean I'm telling you, she she has a persona too. But I'm telling you, like the sweetest, like yeah, I can tell, man. You know what I mean? She, she knows like, who she is. Yeah, I that's mean, all we're trying to figure out. And who we are, man. You know, I'll, I'll put it out to her. But it's like going in an hour here. 
You all right, I guess I guess we should wrap it up. I mean, you know, I, uh, I don't care. We, we hit all the bases. We chop this one down, and then we freaking go get a coffee, and we turn it back on. I'm just gonna upload. I'm gonna. What we're gonna up? I'm gonna put it on the thing. Right. Uh, That's how it's gonna work. I'm gonna when we're done here. Yeah. I'm gonna send it to my channel. It's because <laughs> it's an hour long. Right. It's gonna take a while to upload. We'll go get a coffee. Okay. And. It'll be up, and we'll put the links on the thing. And put the links. The links. Follow my and, and and my followers want you to follow him. What's your Instagram? Malibu Illusion. Mal Everything's Malibu Illusion. My 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 uh, all of my stuff's Malibu yeah. Illusion. One word. Malibu Illusion. Because I'm not real. I'm just a manifestation of your imagination. It, that's right. I was gonna say of your energy. Well, do you have a catchphrase? You gotta have a catchphrase. I sell smiles for a loan. Here, have one for free. All right. All right, we're out. Bye.